In this video we'll explain the process of painting the whole vessel's hull, as well as the fresh water tanks, where extra care has to be taken. This footage was made while the vessel was in the shipyard, where I had the opportunity to talk with experts who were kind, cooperative and willing to share their knowledge. Now at least a fraction of their vast experience could be shared through this video to expand the knowledge of ship's personnel about the subject of paint. Yes. Ok, Sayed Emir is quality inspector for the paint. So, Sayed, when the vessel comes, how does it start? It will start washing first and scraping if there is. Washing and scraping, yeah? After washing is done, paint inspector and vessel's representative will inspect the quality and allow the next stage. Sand blasting is the next stage, which may take just one day to complete in case of spot blasting or more if the whole vessel needs to be sand blasted. Before the blasting can commence, the sensitive parts will be protected, such as openings, speed sensors and unprotected equipment installed outside of the hull. After the blasting, we coming as per the agreement, we'll check the service, everything okay, then we'll go ahead for the washing. Okay. Once the hull is clean and dry, painters can apply the first coat of the paint. Painting, yeah? Alright. Paint specification is provided from the paint manufacturer, hired by the vessel's management. Paint spec tells the painters which paint will be applied where, how many layers to apply and the required thickness of each layer. Some areas of the vessel will require three or more coats of paint, while other parts may need less. Put, uh, for example, four, four uh, coats on the top side, then three coats where follow the spec. Qualified expert needs to inspect the paint after each coat of paint, to ensure it's safe to proceed with the next coat. Otherwise, the whole job may be ruined. Then we'll go for second coat and third coat. Every coat we have a section with Jordan and uh, owner also. When the hull is finally painted and final coat has dried, painters will start with hull marks and other details which require special attention. Okay, Sayed, thank you very much for this explanation. Other spaces, such as those in engine room which are exposed to heat or fresh water tanks, which contain water for human consumption, need more attention and special kind of paint. Also, it's difficult for the painters to work in such confined spaces where air needs to be supplied by blowers and area ventilated while the work is in progress. Motherfucker! Ah. Okay, this is my body mode. He will explain how to take care of fresh water tank. First stage, try I fresh water washing. Okay, first you wash everything, right? Yeah, everything wash and clean, drying, finish. After I give this uh, painting inspector, it's an inspection too. Okay. I'm senior coating under, sir. I have to look into the paint quality and... Okay. So after you determine it's not good enough, yeah. you decide we need to do a sandblasting, right? Yeah, sandblasting. Okay. After the tank has been sandblasted and cleaned, it's once again inspected to determine if it has been correctly prepared for painting. We will do the inspection, if the chlorine is everything is okay. And then you do then inspection, you decide, okay, it's not okay, it yeah. needs to be recoated. Yeah. So he does his measurements and he tells you, okay, you're good to go. Yeah. Okay. The first coat of paint is applied and in this case gets four hours of curing time, as required by manufacturer. Is everything okay? I start this white color, is this step coat? Five oh. coat means, you know, this welding area, this weld, edges, welding area. So this is the part which you do by hand? Brush, yes. Brush oh. and roller. Okay. Because so by spray you will not get this area, correct? Yes, then correct. they will do by roller, brush. Once the first coat is dry, the second coat is applied and left 8 hours to dry. Once that's done, the tank is cleaned and inspected dry, again. I call again an inspection and final coat white. Then final I... coat will be white, right? Yeah, white. Yeah. 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 Uh, how you call this paint? It's uh, without solvents? That is called a solvent free. Solvent free, yes. Yeah, it's a based on uh, epoxy only. Epoxy only, huh? yeah. But it's a solvent uh, free. Oh, okay. We are here one day after painting, and I don't feel any smell. Any smell, yes. yes. Correct. Yes. Yeah. That is the. So you are controlling the thickness of each yes, yes. film and make sure you measure that is it according yeah. to the specs. Yeah. Excellent. I have this uh, thickness, guys. 
like he this. can check thickness of the paint with yeah, his yeah, yeah. This is the thickness in micron. Thickness in microns, yes. yes. So this is eight six eight hundred. Okay, what is the according to your specification? So minimum thickness is four fifty. Four fifty, but you have one thousand yeah, yeah. on some part. Yeah. Okay. Everywhere we have above five hundred yes, microns, correct. yeah. Yeah. So you are now satisfied with the condition yes. of the tank. Correct, correct. And now you need me to sign it, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Excellent. Yeah. Thank you very yeah. much. Thank you. Respect. This video and others like it were created for educational purposes. Feel free to use it for training of your crew.